welcome to chemistry lover and our today's topic is peterson elimination reaction so in this video we will see how you can control the geometry of a double bond so that means according to your preference either you can get the cis double bond or you can get a trans double bond starting from the same starting material that is very important you are using the same starting material but you, you will get two different products depending on the two different conditions for example let's say you have this substrate and this is the general substrate of peterson elimination reaction so you have this trialkyl silyl group in one side and oh group in another side and now let's say here you have this uh, methyl group and another methyl group is here and here you have one hydrogen and here you have another hydrogen so this is your substrate now depending on whether you are using acid or base you can get two products in one case you will get this trans product and in another case you will get this cis product and this reaction is stereo specific okay so this is a stereo specific reaction now in which condition you will get which product that we will see within a few moment so for that we have to know the mechanism of this reaction now this reaction can occur either in acid or in base so either you can use simple acid like hcl or h2so4 like that or you can use base like uh, sodium hydroxide or some more strong base but the difference is in one case you are using acid and in another case you are using base now let us first see how the reaction occurs in acid medium so we will first see the case of acidic condition so let me change the color so this is our substrate very simple tri alkyl silyl group in one side and OH group in another side and we have methyl group here and another methyl group is below the plane so this is our substrate now in acid medium what will happen so in acid medium this OH group will get protonated so you will have this OH2 plus and here you have this trialkyl silyl group and in this side you have this methyl in this side you have another methyl but they are trans to one another or they are in the opposite side of one another now how elimination can happen from here so by this protonation of this OH group this now becomes a living group so this now becomes a living group living group okay and this is another living group but to undergo the elimination reaction they should be trans to one another or anti to one another for that you need a bond rotation how the bond rotation can happen so let us uh, take this h2o group in the same side but we rotate another side and by doing that we get this trialkyl silyl group anti to this protonated oh group or h2o plus now this methyl group will be on the above side but by this rotation what you are doing you are bringing this methyl group at the above right or at the top because when you are rotating this was below but as you are rotating it it will come above and this will be the new arrangement now water molecule present in your reaction medium that will attack over this silicon this bond will go here and this will go so by this you will get two methyl group in the same side so to get this particular product we should use acid now let us see what happens in in, in case of base okay so in basic medium we have the same substrate we have this OH this SIR3 group here you have this methyl group 
and here you have this another methyl group but in BS what will happen is BS will deprotonate from this OH group and you will have this O minus on the other side you have this SIR3 group here you have this methyl group and here you have another methyl group now here this O minus is not a living group but what it can do is it can attack on this silicon because oxygen silicon bond is very strong so it will easily attack over here and by this attack you will get a uh, four membered intermediate like this similar to the intermediate in the Wittig reaction the four membered ring okay but in this case the position of this methyl and this methyl is same as the starting material they are opposite to one another and here you will have a negative charge now this four membered ring is not very much stable and it will collapse so how it will collapse so it can collapse like this so this bond will go here and this will come here so by this what you will get you will get this and as a side product you will have this r3 si minus like this you can get okay so this is your uh, product of reaction so now in this case you can see this methyl and this methyl they are trans to one another and here so the reaction condition is basic OH minus similarly if you use another starting material like this so let's say this is now your starting material and your methyl is on the same side two methyls are on the same side so now the outcome will be different in this case if you use acid you will get the uh, sorry you will get the trans product so previously you can see when we used the acid see when we used the acid we got the cis product but now if we use acid we will get the trans product and if we use uh, base you can see if we use base we will get the cis product so depending on whether you are using acidic condition or basic condition or whether you are using the anti substrate or anti static material or syn static material you will get different outcome so that is the summary of this video i hope that this video will help you thank you for watching